Hey folks, meet Edison, the budget-friendly robot from Microbrick. I've been sent an EdStem home pack to take a look at, consisting of two Edison robots and an EdCreate kit. Let's take a look. Now this is a quick unboxing, because inside each box we just have an Edison robot, and inside the battery compartment there's an EdCom cable. That's the cable that connects to your computer when you want to program Edison. In this video though, we're going to keep things simple and access Edison's preset programs. More on that later. As I said before, Edison has a battery compartment which takes four AAA batteries. This makes it a little different from the majority of robots in this series which are rechargeable. Another thing which sets it apart is its cost. For the price of some of the robots in the STEM Robots and Drones video series, you could buy three, four or even five Edison robots and still have change left over. Let's take a look inside the EdCreate kit then. This is a construction system which consists of 115 interlocking building blocks, pegs, gears and other parts which allow you to build five Ed build projects, as well as a range of open-ended STEM challenges. Look out for the video when I build all five projects. So, in our Ed STEM home pack we have two Edison robots, two EdCom cables and all of this. Once we install the batteries, we can access one of the preset programs by having Edison read the barcode on the box. Now, when we press the triangular button to run the program, Edison can follow the light it detects from the torch. To access the other programs, you can print this booklet, which is found at meetedison.com. So, we could scan a page in the booklet that allows Edison to follow a line like the one I've made here in black tape. Another code allows Edison to continually bounce around inside the line we've made. It'll happily do this all day, or at least until its batteries run out. These two programs both make use of Edison's line tracking sensor. There's also a program that has Edison avoid obstacles using its infrared light sensors, and one that allows you to control its movements by clapping. One clap to turn, and two claps to move forward. All this from just pressing the record button three times and having Edison scan a barcode. That's why Microbrick tell us that Edison can be used, with adult supervision, by children as young as four years old. Now, there are two final programs to show you. If you have two Edison robots, then you can have them sumo wrestle by having them run the same program. Let's watch the action for a while. Finally, we can control Edison using a TV or DVD remote. Each movement, forward, backwards, spin left, spin right, etc., has to be programmed separately. Once we scan the barcode, say, to move Edison forward, the next button that's pressed on our remote controls that movement. Supposedly, Edison is compatible with around 75% of TV and DVD remote controls. You'll see in another video that some of the more complex Ed Build projects are controlled this way too. The next step is to program Edison using the EdBlocks graphical programming language, and that's exactly what I'm going to do in the next video. I've had great fun getting to grips with this little robot, and I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. There's a link in the description to where you can pick up your own Edison, and using it will help the channel out too. If you want to be made aware when new videos are released, then please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you know anyone else with an interest in STEM education or programmable robots, then make sure to tell them about STEM goals too. Until next time, thanks for watching.